Hey everyone, welcome to Higan Iruthil, and it's time for a build guide for Icicle. So, Icicle, um, she's kind of out of the usual archetype for, um, for assassins. And you'll know why once I describe and also how to equip her. So, first and foremost, we'll start off with her stats. What stats do you need to prioritize in order to build her? Um, for me, it's going to be... Um, the primary one would be Ultimate Energy Recharge. The others would also be AD and Attack Speed or Bonus Attack Speed. To give her that a little bit of... a little bit more damage basically so she's not the usual um assassin archetype and i'll show you why so next up we're going to be featuring her recommended place okay guys so here are her recommended place i won't be recommending any three star at this point um i i, I saw all the plays and it doesn't ring really a bell whether it's going to be good for them or not so i'm going to start off with four star and the first one is King King. So this will increase her um, healing received by 10%. Also, upon taking damage, restores HP by 2% max per second. This effect lasts for 5 seconds and can be triggered for one time per 15 seconds. Um, this one, the key for this set is to improve her survivability, especially if she's at the back. She's actually dashing already and going through the back row and again, a little bit more survivability with increased healing that she receives. Next up, which I think is my most recommended for four star, is going to be Doctor Watson, because um, I'm 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 not recommending this because of the increased AP. She won't use it, but after casting a skill, has a forty percent chance of gaining three energy. This is what I'm recommending. Disregard this. Anyway, she's not heavy on the AD. She's not really a, a damage dealer per se of an assassin. The most important thing here is the 40% chance to gain 3 energy. That is what I'm talking about. For your 5 star guys, I'm recommending this one. So increase melee resistance. Melee Magic resistance. Okay, magic resistance by 15%. Three P set increased healing received by 10. Okay. Upon receiving healing, the next three basic attacks attack speed is increased by 10, which is nice. And the end of each next three basic attack will grant the character three ultimate energy, which which I really like. So two things here. Um increase healing, um magic resistance. Then this is the magic resistance is actually going to be good for the back row. So again, this is going to be a good set for her. This is an all-around set, which grants her three three ultimate energy in the end. The ultimate energy recharge effect can be triggered at most one time per second. Okay, and the last one that I'm recommending is uh, one of the most intriguing plays I think that I have ever seen. So so far. This is what I like for her. Um, at 2P, she already gets an energy recharge. Energy recharge in increase in uh, by 25 sec, uh, 25 percent. At 3P set, after casting the skill to deal damage, deals an additional damage equal to five percent of the uh, five percent of the target's current HP up to 200 AD or AP. This effect can be triggered at most. One time after casting a skill. So you get my drift. She is going to be built more on additional healing, getting additional healing, survivability, and also for energy recharge. So those are your priorities for her plays. Next up is going to be her skill priority. Okay, so for Icicle's skill priority, the first one that I would prioritize well is actually her active skill. Okay. Because this active skill, okay, let's go back. This active skill is actually going to dash and going, it actually dashes in a straight line, shooting eight bullets in a row and dealing uh, physical damage uh, to 
something AD and chance to launch one two three freezing rounds with encroaching cold the target will also be frozen this is actually one of her best skills aside from encroaching cold there is frozen applied to that unit which really stops them on their toes although this is just for 1.5 seconds but again if you can spam this skill as i mentioned as i mentioned she is actually she actually needs a lot of energy that is how she must be built and the next one uh sorry um in terms of active skill this one is more of a control feel this one is more this is also of a control so but this is leaning also towards um damage as well so this is partial control with damage this is more num this uh, frozen rate is more control all all control this one is partial control and partial damage so again depending upon you um on what you're gonna be selecting but i'm actually using this and hopefully so should you i'm recommending this um, next one as a priority is going to be her passive. So Icicle deals 3-6, 10% more damage to enemies with 3-6-9 stacks of encroaching cold. Again, definitely if you have um, other units dealing encroaching cold, this would be nice because the stacks would be quicker. When her basic attack deals damage, she will launch an additional freezing round, applying one stack of encroaching cold and freeze to the target. So this one, the passive is also of a control variety so passive and active go well together in terms of her control kit again if you want to build her for control uh active and passive will be your best line of priority the last one is her ultimate so increase uh, icicle erases booming storm on battle dealing Physical damage equal to blah, blah, blah. AD to all enemies within a circular and applying one stack of encroaching cold on a random target. This also is uh, damage. Uh, this is damage and semi-control. So again, all three skills are going to be based on control, crowd control, unit control, and everything control. And the last one is going to be her attack. Because, um, again, her primary um, goal is to slow down your enemies, not really to deal damage. That is why I told you guys that her kit is kind of unique, not from your usual archetype. Next up is going to be her Awaken. Excuse me. <laughs> um, so, let's go over her Awaken tree. So, phase one is crit rate, which is nice to have. Um, but not really needed in her kit. This is also nice to have. At phase 3, this is going to be nice to have because now has a 55% chance, 30-15 chance to trigger 1, 2, 3 freezing rounds respectively. So this will increase the triggering of freezing rounds for Frozen Raid. Frozen Raid is actually this one. So let's go back to Awaken. So again, that is what you must pick in case you want to get Frozen Raid. Um, again, this one is for the other skill. Next up is going to be uh, Phase 4. So the, this one is a dealing additional damage to targets with approaching Cold. Just in case if you want to make her deal more damage, this is nice. But this one I like more because the self, the self takes 20% less damage from the enemy with encroaching cold because you're there to control them. You're, you're there to stay alive as long as possible. That is why I'm choosing this one. And for phase 5, which I have activated already, this pertains to your ultimate skill. So Booming Storm consumes all stacks of encroaching cold on target. Each stack consumed increases Icicle's ultimate energy by 4%. Which is nice it recycles so this i got because it recycles to her ultimate this one is can freeze target for four seconds which i think she has enough of. so again i'm getting this one for more ultimate uh, energy recycling this one if i reach this uh i would go can actually go with this this is also nice because this increases ad by 10 but this only affects the front row 
or AD na not necessarily front row the your 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 melee um, heroes I would actually go with this one because this adds freeze to her kit so that is it for her awaken priority so if you're asking me guys who does she work well with at least one more hydro <coughs> excuse me one more hydro unit will really there is a synergy with multiple um with stacks of uh, encroaching cold you can take advantage of that if you have multiple hydro units probably another one would do with her just in case if you want to mix and match with other units shero is actually a nice pairing for her i'm just you know i'm just saying it out right now um because shero has a nice mechanic for encroaching cold especially for the target that she is shielding herself with this one sh they complement each other there are others you, you have live as well so again at least one hydro unit if you have three better um, at this point, my only problem with Hydro is that they might have so much crowd control that they don't have enough DPS because of the way Hydro is built. So sometimes you have to mix and match at least two Hydro with two others. So also a nice crowd control unit, um, especially for the backline. Uh, if you intend to not really kill them at first... <laughs> But if you intend to slow them down and kill them eventually, then she is your girl. So that is it, guys. Comment down in the comment section. What do you think of Icicle's build? Have I nailed this build guide or not? So I need your inputs and also your suggestions. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.